Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. These 101 best practices are just a small sample of over a thousand embedded in the airtight management six systems. Today, we're going to talk about ones used to create high performance teams. Today, we're going to talk about best practice number 10, which is recruiting the right players and valuing diversity on that team. Now, that's one of those things that's really easy to say but it has a lot of moving parts and experience associated with it to get it right. Jim Collins of Goods to Great calls it getting the right people on the bus. Um, you need a variety of skills and experience and diversity on a team. You don't want a bunch of people with the same experience, the same skill sets. You know, the, the uh, military doesn't send in a SEAL team with all the people with the same equipment and the same skill sets. They put together a team with a wide variety of weapons and ordnance and skills because they want to be able to dynamically have different perspectives and different tools at their disposal. Well, the same applies to any team. You don't want five or seven clones with the same experience. And in fact, we're going to talk about how you actually want some different personalities on the team as well. Diversity leads to better brainstorming and mindstorming. It leads to better decision making and ultimately better solutions. So recruiting the right players and valuing diversity requires you to avoid the urge to recruit people that are just like you or maybe just like someone else that did a good job for you in that kind of skill in the, in the, uh, in the past. The idea is that if you have any significant project that's worth putting a high performance team together for, you need a diversity of perspectives and experience. Every large project, in my experience, and this is one of the models we teach in airtight management, has four levels. The levels in a business and a project are vision, strategy, management, and execution. And this is a good thing to hold up, and we're going to give you a model for this, against any project and even any business. Uh, there's a model that's called HOTS, which stands for some animal representations of these types of personalities, and we're going to give you that as a reference shortly. So. This is one of those best practices that's hard to do and oftentimes even an 80% higher rate is good. So you can't be afraid to turn over the team and if someone's causing problems or not performing their job, going at that issue and replacing that person. But here's what I've found. So here's a model that I find extremely useful and lay over projects and even businesses when doing due diligence and figuring out how effective those businesses, if they're small businesses or teams, can be. It can even be used to look at departments or other sizes of groups. So, as I said a little earlier, there are four levels in a business, vision, strategy, management, and execution. Each of those tends to lend themselves to a different kind of personality and a different skill set. And each of these layers of experience can take three to five years to gain to climb up through those levels and understand the bigger picture as well as the details of a particular industry or domain or product space. Um, the book The One Minute Managers uh, has uh, an acronym called HOTS, H-O-T-S, which stands for the personality types, hare, owl, turtle, and squirrel. And they map in to these levels of um, vision, strategy, management, and execution that a business and any good project needs. It may need them in small doses for vision and strategy. In larger doses, generally it's going to be 80% or more management and execution, maybe 15% management and you know, uh, 60, 70, 80% execution, and the vision and strategy is the rest. But the, the important thing is to understand 
this is a way to complement personalities and to look to make sure a team is diverse enough and you have the right people on the bus. So the hare is the creative type. There's someone that uh, understands the big picture, the industry. They might run in a room, throw out an idea, uh, and run away. And usually they're not very good at follow through or detail because they're only thinking about that big picture long term. The owl tends to be the executive that's more pragmatic and more responsible and is going to make a decision whether that idea is practical and can be implemented uh, for a, a good return on investment without disrupting anything that's, uh, that's happening right now. And so they're going to look at kind of the medium term of implementing that idea or that project. The turtle is someone who's much more cautious. Uh, the Six Thinking Hats by De Bono, which is another good book to read, talks about that person as the black hat. They're the one that looks at all the things that could go wrong. They're kind of like the Eeyore, the sky is falling. Here's the 10 things that can go wrong. What we, could we do about it? Well, if, if we were worried about that, we could never be entrepreneurs and we could never um, make innovation happen because all innovation requires some risk and trying new things. So you need that balance and you need to talk about how to manage that risk and it's important to have that perspective but obviously you don't want uh, the positive environment to be taken down uh, by the negativity that comes sometimes about what can't be done. Um, so that person is the conservative black hat, the turtle. The squirrel is the detail-oriented person that does most of the rowing in the boat. They're, they don't mind repetitive work. They think, you know, think of the squirrel is they're always out gathering nuts. They're constantly working and doing the same thing. You know, accountants tend to be squirrels because they don't get bored constantly going through numbers and collecting data and, and doing uh, very detail-oriented work. So I'd recommend you print this out. Use Shift Print Screen or the equivalent in, uh, in Apple to uh, save the screen, print it out, even hang it on your wall. And every time you have a big project or a new team to form, Look at this and ask yourself, do you have those personality types and do you have those levels of the business covered in this project, product, or company?